Native Watercraft recently unveiled the Titan 13.5, and that's what we're going to talk about today on Beyond the Bounds Kayak Fishing. Coming up. Alrighty, y'all. Native Watercraft Pro Staff and Delaware Paddle Sports Kayak Fishing Team member Lou Martinez here, and today I want to talk to you about a kayak that's got me super excited to get out on the water this next year, and that's the Titan 13.5 by Native Watercraft. Native actually developed this based on a lot of the feedback that they got from uh, people like me, their pro staff, and you know they really came out with a true winner in this kayak, and I'm looking very forward to getting this kayak and testing it out and using it this season. Um, there's a lot to be excited about with this kayak. It's a large kayak, uh, but it's you know kind of part of the name. It doesn't say Native Kayaks, it's Native Watercraft, and that's what they did with this. They created a watercraft that can support large individuals, that, that can support tournament anglers, and really gives us what we need in a tournament fishing vessel, a fishing watercraft, fishing platform. And that's why I'm so super excited about this, to, to be able to rig this thing to the max and have a kayak that can really support all the things that I want, like a Lowrance TI-9 and you know perhaps a trolling motor on the back in addition to my propel drive. So this is going to be an awesome platform to fish from and I'm super stoked about getting it on the water. So let's jump into those specs and see how this compares against other kayaks that are also in the market. So let's get into the specs of the Titan 13.5. First off, it's 41 and a half inches wide. Now that to some people is going to seem like incredibly large, but when you compare that to the other kayaks that are in the market, um, let's take the Pro Angler 12, that's 36 inches wide. The Pro Angler 14, that's 38 inches wide. So it's very close in comparison to size in those kayaks. Um, Native has done what they've done before and pushed the envelope like they always do. They did that with the drive and you know we got an awesome fishing kayak fishing vessel that was able to give us a hands-free reverse now that's very important and i really want to harp on the fishing experience that you get from a hands-free reverse it is hands down the best fishing experience that there is um, the fact that you can work a lay down continue to back up and never have to pull a cord, never have to touch a paddle. So that's what Native has done with this boat and this kayak is they've given us a stable platform, the most stable platform on the market. And that's what makes me so excited about this boat. And I can't wait to get my hands on this. Let's take a look at some of the things that I saw when I was at the factory that really impressed me and some of the things that I truly like about this kayak. So this kayak comes loaded with a ton of features that really gets me pumped up from rod storage to the seat that's elevated that has tackle storage all over it to internal storage um, to where you can put rods in there and you know that front hatch is super huge you're gonna be able to carry a lot of gear in that front hatch alone um, transom mounts for motors and the ability to mount motors in various different locations across the, bo the boat power pole already equipped for to hold power poles um i mean the list just keeps going on and on paddle stows this this is going to be awesome it's got all the things that we've been asking for and you know that's what i really love about being part of native watercraft pro staff and and why i you know i wear the shirt and i'm proud to be a part of that is because you know they take into account the things that their pro staff says they're not some large conglomerate that's got thousands of people. They are a mom and pop shop, 50 people, you know, working their day and night in multiple shifts at the factory and, and they pump out a tremendously good product that, you know, I stand behind 100% and I'm glad that they stand behind me. So let's get into a few more of the things that, again, when I was at the factory that I saw that really impressed me about this kayak. And those are gonna be the seat, the rod storage, and a lot of the mounting areas um, that I've already mentioned. So let's get into that. So the rod storage on this kayak is one of the things that truly impressed me. I really have wanted horizontal rod storage. Matter of fact, on my Slayer Propel, I actually put the rods directly beside me and I use certain ram mounts to kind of keep them in line on my boat and that's really important to me because you know I'm a serious tournament angler I'm trying I'm out there to win and I'm 
firing at fish and if I miss something and I want to drop down, grab another rod, I need it to be right there. I don't want to be reaching behind me and trying to take something out and unhook it and, and all that. I want to be grabbing it, firing, and getting that fish. That's important to me. And, and as a competitor, that was one of the things that we as pro staff really wanted was to be able to have this horizontal rod storage. And that's good for other things like transport. Um, you know, we've all probably done it to where you're inside your truck, you're driving, you've got rods up there. If you, even if you throw them in the back of the truck, you know, they're clanging. There's rod transport puts a lot of wear and tear on our gear. And so to be able to put these on the kayak, to be able to expand the way that that carries those to accommodate nine foot rods, it's very practical and very easy to use and just adjusts on the track. So it's adjustable. It's practical and adjustable. Um, makes it just you know a feature that we as kayak anglers are truly going to love and truly going to appreciate and it, it just shows that native is really paying attention to what we want in a boat now let's talk about the seat some more so the seat is one of the products that i truly love about my slayer propel 13. Um, they've taken the seat and elevated the seat and that really matters a lot one because it puts your your feet in your hips in line with the drive system so it's a more comfortable uh, pedaling experience actually when I test drove the FX 13 propel I was really impressed with how easy I could stand up from the seat you know a lot of these other kayak brands out there they got the, you know you have to have a bar up front or a big strap to carry yourself up with that's not the case with these kayaks you can stand directly from a seated position and just stand up and that's very comfortable and it's practical for us tournament anglers again because you're always going to be standing you're going to be sight fishing you're going to be sitting down standing up sitting down standing up and constantly and if you're having to if it's a struggle to do that all day you're going to get to a point to where you're tired and you don't want to do that so making that easier on us is a tremendous advantage and you know you need every advantage you can so talk about the storage around there there's tons of storage just underneath of that seat. You can put a large worm binder, which is how I actually store all of my soft plastics in a large binder. Um, you can put tackle boxes around the side. Then you put a uh, behind the seat storage and you've got even more tackle storage to where you don't need that access in the front or even a black pack. So the amount of gear and tackle that you're gonna be able to take on this, on this kayak is gonna rival some bass boats. The seat also slides all the way to the back. So again, they've taken it and been very practical with it. They said, how can we put that person at the back and give them control over a trolling motor or anything else that they might want to touch back there or put up back there? I might even put this tripod back there. You know, so that seat slides all the way back, gives you access to a motor. Then you can slide it all the way forward. Maybe when you get to your spot and, and, and kick on the drive and start using the, the, the pedal drive at that point. So the seat is packed full of just great benefits and things that they've thought out. Another thing about the seat that I want to point out is, you know, just something very simple, the clips. You know, they replaced the clips on a lot of these seats and made them really robust so that they can take the strain of, uh, you know, larger people and people leaning back on these things so they're not going to break on you and they're going to be very sturdy and very robust. Now let's jump into the internal storage. Okay, so this kayak comes with a hatch that provides you access in the rear of the kayak to access the internal hole. Now this is gonna be, again, important for transporting those rods, um, storage of extra gear and equipment, um, batteries, internal mounting. So when you're running those wires on the internal side of the kayak, you're gonna have really nice, good access uh, you know, a large access port back there to get under there and mount those electronics and run those wires. So that's again, another benefit that I'm truly looking forward to, uh, especially with my camera gear. You know, I want to be able to mount and hide all the wiring and stuff that I might use for my camera gear here in the future. And that's why, again, I'm, I'm dead set on picking up this boat. Let's take a little bit longer look at the rear end of this kayak. Um, native gave you a ton of space back there to mount trolling motors, to mount power poles and light poles and flag poles, and then they've given you that internal storage that is access point that is really close to that 
so that you can go in there and run those wires and keep it nice and clean. Um, so there's a lot of space in the rear of this kayak to mount it to your liking and rig it to your liking. You may also notice when you're looking at some of these videos, um, some of the video, that there are grab points on the tracks. Let's talk a little bit more about that. You see, Native molds in the screw points for these tracks. Now some of their Whitewater Series kayaks carry a 2400 pound pull strength on a single point and that's because they mold these in. Uh, the Titan and track mounted stuff that goes on the Titan, those are actually rated for a thousand pound pull strength. So when you think that, oh, can I mount say a boondocks landing gear or something like that, will it hold the, the weight of that and will it warp? And it's not going to because it's rated for a poundage that's much more than what you're able to put on that. Even again, lifting the kayak up from these tracks, it's not gonna bend the track. So rig it to your liking, do whatever you can, you're not gonna break it. Alrighty y'all, so that's the Native Watercraft Titan Propel 13.5. It's gonna be an amazing fishing platform. You can rig it to your heart's desire. Um, if you're into maybe photography or something like that, it's gonna give you a very stable platform to go out there on the water, mount tripods, mount it however you want. Um, you can put a gas motor on this thing if you want. So, you know, go to nativewatercraft.com, check it out. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, comment, and share, and y'all have a good one.